I think every geologist in, in the world is hoping that one day we can kind of have some signs that we can predict earthquakes. And actually, the paper that was published last year, we said that the Moshi segment is the most dangerous. There hasn't been any earthquake in 250 years, and the, the rate at which the fault moves is very high, so the risk of an imminent earthquake is very high. In October 2022, Marie-Luce Chavalier led a team to the eastern section of the Qinghai Tibet Plateau to examine a fault zone in that area that is currently active. I'm Fifty million years ago, the Tibetan Plateau started to rise, the Himalaya started to rise. So because we have all these large active faults on the Tibetan Plateau, and every time they move, every time the blocks move, it creates an earthquake. The Qinghai Tibet Plateau has been called the Earth's third pole. In Sichuan alone, there are more than 97 mountains that are 5,000 meters above sea level. The activity of the geology in this area can have a profound effect on the climate, hydrology, and vegetation of China and the world. So this place is perfect because there's a lot of active faults. So the main fault is called the Xian Chuire Fault. So the Xian Chuire Fault is like 1,400 kilometers long. It goes all the way from like Yushu, and then it goes all the way to Kunming. Ganzajode 一种石头，然后这个白色的，是因为啊下下雨的时候，然后有evaporation的时候，这是盖叶，所以如果你你尝一下，有一点点像。These uh, particular rocks are called mylonite. They are one of the factors to look for when seeking a fault zone. In ancient times, these were seawater rocks that gradually rose due to the movement of the Earth's crust while simultaneously being pressed and milled, forming an exceptionally unique black stone forest. From Yushu all the way to Huyensu, it's only one big large fault, very straight, very linear, and only one branch. But from Huyensu, suddenly, the fault kind of stops and splits into four branches. So it's a very important place. We, don't, we still don't quite understand, because after Kangding, after we pass Kangding, it's only one branch again. So yeah, we're, we're trying to figure out what's the story here. Approximately 90% of the earthquakes in the world occur because of active fault zones. Understanding the mechanism of the fault zones and estimating their average speed of development can help assess the potential risk of an area. 这是一个很简单的一个一个一个方法，两几个都看。对，看这个片吗？对对，你看，超过十五米吧。嗯，对，有有点高。嗯，不是过十个七级以上，有可能一米高的都看，所以这个有可能有十五个地震吧。I've always been interested in volcanoes and earthquake and natural hazards. I did physics in university. Then I went to Paris to do my master's degree in geophysics. And then that's when I chose uh, what I do now. So I chose active tectonics and earthquakes. And so when I studied my PhD the first year, 
In 2002, I went to Tibet. So this part is going to go down. Yes, the part has a little bit. But this part has a lot of activity. Look, this is complete. Wow, look. It's all green. Look, there's a pop-up. Shevel Lin and her colleagues plan to gather a few stone and moss samples and take them to a laboratory in Beijing. The goal is to analyze them in order to research the relationship between the hot springs and the fault zones. The rock specimens that Chevalier has collected from Sichuan will be ground into a fine powder and sent to different laboratories to test and gather data on the mineral quality, density value, etc. That is our product, right? We, we, uh, last time in in Sichuan, right? In other countries, uh, mining product. Then we, 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 since the formation of the Earth 4.6 billion years ago, we have learned of over 3,000 types of rocks. These rocks record changes in geology and have also become the most important part of Chevalier's research. In 2010, the Institute of Geology of the Chinese Academy of Geological Sciences invited Chevalier as a guest researcher. As of now, she has published two papers as the first author in the top international academic publication Science and has put out more than 20 academic papers. She has been a catalyst for international cooperation between research teams in China and the West. Not only has she received the highest honor in France's educational sphere, the Order of the Academic Palms, but in 2021, was given the Chinese Government Friendship Award. This is the highest award that the government can bestow on foreign experts who have made outstanding contributions to China's modernization and opening up reforms. Because Le bleu Non, d'abord le blanc dessus. Et le bleu de l'autre côté. Non. Ouais. Mon mari, je suis venu à Beijing. Et 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 je suis venu à Beijing. Wow, entre papa. Look. Wow. Nice. Ok, papa aussi il fait. Yeah. Chez moi, mon fils est très bien. Et il aime le sport. Il aime aller dehors. Il est comme moi quand j'étais petit. Je suis née à Bélis. Mes parents sont des enseignants. Mais ils m'ont appris à l'école. Mais moi, je suis très bien. 物理啊
，数学啊，化学啊。我二零一零年啊、嗯，决定来中国，是因为中国那么大，有那么多的地形啊，风景、气候，所以特别适合我我感兴趣的一个方向，因为我要继续做青藏高原的研究。是龙门山，就是四川本地，成都在这儿，然后我我的我做研究的地区都在这儿，都在青藏高原的东部。Our institute has a base in Chengdu, and all the samples we collect, we leave them in Chengdu. So all of the equipment to analyze the rocks are in Chengdu now. So it's very convenient. 那我们去野外的时候，我们从成都出发，然后开车到康定。In 2023, Chevalier and her team set out from Chengdu and arrived once again at the Qinghai Tibet Plateau to collect more data from the Xianshui He Fault Zone. It's already almost lunchtime, so Chevalier and her team have prepared an easy lunch for the road. Come on. 我们没有时间在中午吃，在一个饭馆没有时间，或者也没有饭馆吧。我们在没有人的地方，在餐厅。She is one of only a few female scientists in the geology field. She works at high altitudes, and her altitude sickness once was so severe that she went three days without sleeping or eating. 我非常喜欢在野外这种感觉。为什么？从一小块石头，我们能去，呃，研究几几十万年、几百万年的一个地质过程。我发现这个过程是很神奇的。辛苦是肯定的，但是我觉得吧，咱们这工作，我觉得还是一个是可以接受，再一个是，也是我觉得很有意义。大概学地质，现在从从本科一一年到现在有十几年了。这几十年，我去过很多地方，也见证了很多不同的事情。然后，它给我整个人带来的感官是不一样的。就是，就是让我就觉得，这是一项能让我从事终生的事业。青藏高原那么大，还有那么多的问问题还没解决，有很多断裂还没发现，或者很多地震的活动还没了解，所以我们可以多来青藏高原做研究吧。我们现在去亚拉山观台，也还有可能十公里左右。亚拉 Snow Mountain stands at 5,884 meters above sea level and is capped with snow year-round. To this day, no one has ever successfully peaked it. At different levels of the mountain, there are different landforms like meadows, lakes, glacial ravines, etc. <笑>你看没有 Chevalier is preparing to climb through a pass of over 4,700 meters above sea level to observe the impact of the ice erosion on the area around Yala Snow Mountain. 这个好像是偏远吧,你看。地表都是凉凉的,这个白玉木吧。对,应该像白玉木。是的,你看那边没有冰川,所以是V-shaped的。啊,也。周有很多划破,你看。青藏高原是一个自然的实验室。到处都有
whether it's related to the work of geology or to a happy family. China has everything she values. She's like a solid rock clinging to the plateau, recording this ever-changing planet.